Okay, so in this quick and fun tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take some textures and apply them to some text in Photoshop. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can take some textures, graphics, images, whatever it is, you can stack them up, blend them all through each other onto some text all in Photoshop. Now the great thing about this is if you've been using Photoshop for years or you're new to it, this is a ton of fun to do and it's really, really simple. So without further ado, we'll jump to the screen now and get started. Right here, so we're now in Photoshop and you can see an example on screen of the effect we're going to be creating. We have lots of sheets of paper and shadows all overlaid against this text and this text is still editable. So this is really, really cool, gives us a lot more flexibility keeping that editable. So what I'm gonna do is go over to my layers panel. We're gonna delete all of these textures and we'll start from scratch. So we have some text on screen created just by selecting the type tool. And then with that selected, you can left click anywhere on screen, type some text, pick your font and everything from the top of the screen. Once you've got your text, what we're gonna do is grab an image or a texture. Now I've got one loaded here. This is from unsplash.com. You can download and follow along if you'd like. Link is in the video description. So I'm gonna go up to select, down to all, and you can see the marching ants appear, indicating that it is selected. Let's go to edit and copy jump back over to the main document, edit and paste. There we go, nice and easy. Now what I'm gonna do is make sure that this layer is well named, first of all, good practice, but make sure this is above the type layer. And then with this above, I can right click and go create clipping mask. And you can see we have this little arrow that appears next to the thumbnail, it's pointing to the layer below. The layer below is underlined. This means that everything here, this texture, is being applied only to the layer below. So anything else you have under your text layer will not be affected. And now we can go to edit and free transform. And we can scale this down. And you can see I can move this around and preview exactly how I want this to look in real time. So I can get to this position, press return or double click to confirm the transformation. However, the texture has a particular color. So what if I want to change my text color to, let's go for red. I'll change the text color, change it to like a punchy red. And of course I can't see it because this image is on top. However, if I change this image by selecting it Go into the blending modes list and change that to something else. You can see I get this real time preview, which is quite handy as well. Something like darken or multiply enables that to blend through onto the color of my text. And you can see we get things like this hard cut here at the edge of the image. So I'm gonna just make sure that my image does cover the entirety of the text. Then what I can do is right click and duplicate this layer and again, use edit and free transform. I'm just using shortcut keys now to do this nice and quickly, but you can see I can move this around. If this happens from using shortcut keys to duplicate the layer, all you need to do is just make sure that that is a clipping mask again, or you can just drag this in between two existing layers that are already clipped and it will, it will get that one to fall in line as well. And you can spend a lot of time really tinkering with the position of this. Another way of really quickly duplicating a layer is holding down Alter Option and then dragging that layer to another point in your layers panel and it will duplicate it. So when you get the hang of all these shortcuts, you can actually do this really, really quickly. It stopped duplicating, there we go, fantastic, okay. So I could leave this as it is for now, select my text, and because this blending mode is set to darken, I believe, I can go and change the color of the text. And that will blend through. Or I could just go back to uh, black and white like this. Or I could just select all these layers, change that back to normal, and then get the actual texture of the image coming through. Although I think it's better with 
a blending mode selected because then all of these different texture layers all blend into each other and then over the text itself. And remember, this is all still editable. And there we go. So that is the quickest and easiest way to take a bunch of different textures and images, blend them through into some text and still keep it editable all in Photoshop. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments, meh, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.